The Launch Key Mini Mark III by Novation is a super small, lightweight and affordable MIDI input device for the budding music producer. But does it offer bang for buck, or should you save your money and buy something better? Well, this is the question I had when I purchased the Launch Key Mini, and obviously I went ahead and bought it, so that should tell you something. But I want to talk a little about my thought process and what I've learned since buying it. I should preface this video by pointing out that I'm in no way a subject matter expert on this stuff, and of all the videos I've done on my channel, this is the one I'm probably the most out of my depth in making. However, music production is a great hobby to do at home, especially in isolation, and helps let those creative urges out. So let's talk about specs and details. I guess, let's start with the basic specs. Uh, on the board, there's 25 mini keys, uh, a one-touch strip for pitch bend and with zero center, one-touch strip for modulation, eight dialable knobs, 16 RGB backlit velocitive sensitive pads, a transpose button, Active up and down buttons with preset function as shift, play and record buttons, arpeggiator button and fixed chord button. There's a stop solo mute button, a scene launch button and a 3.5mm TRS MIDI type A jack socket for MIDI out and MIDI DIN breakout cables are not included. USB socket, Kensington mini saver slot, so anti-theft uh, MIDI channel selection, capture MIDI function, tracks function, scene down function, scene up function. Dimensions wise, it's uh, 330 mils wide by 172 mils deep and 31 mils high for the case and 40 mils high if you're including the top of the dials. It's powered completely by USB, so no need for external power packs or batteries, which is great. It's built with uh, it's built with Ableton 10 in mind, but works with just about every door out there, and I've tested it in, I think, five different doors. So let's talk about the key features. For such a small unit, it comes with many features that many of the bigger boards would have. You know, velocitive sensitive pads and keys, control functions, arpeggiator and pitch and modulation sliders. It also comes with heaps of included plugins and effects and sample packs right out of the box. And finally, if you don't already have a door, which you might not if buying such an entry level board, it includes Ableton 10 Live Lite. Overall, for such a light unit made solely from plastic, I'm surprised at just how rigid and strong the construction of the body feels. The pads have an awesome satisfactory feel to them when tapping away, but the keys feel a little firm to press in my opinion, and the spacing is kind of tight for my biggish hands. The dials have a nice resistance to them with a very fluid motion in turning and the sliders on the left while not being tactile in any way do feel somewhat nice to use. I like how everything comes pre-labeled but you're not locked into using any dial in a, or key in a specific way. Now does it fit my needs? The answer is yes in short, completely suits my needs. The small board might not seem like much on the surface but right now where I'm at in my ability to produce and mix music. This thing is way beyond my capabilities, and so it's not limiting me in any way. Maybe as I continue to grow and develop my skills, I might feel restricted by what I can do. But honestly, I think that is a long way to go yet. And while I personally may not be skilled in this area, I do have a number of friends who know way more about this stuff than me, and they would use something like this for traveling. It's small and light enough to rest it on top of a laptop, connected with a single USB connection, or just producing right there on the spot in an airport or sitting in a car park, so to wrap up this video, I'll say that I honestly didn't know what to expect from this device before purchasing it. I've never owned a mini keyboard before, I just knew I wanted to start making beats and composing tracks. I felt like it was the only thing I needed as I already had a good PC, I had good headphones, I had a microphone, I just needed something to, I guess, lay down the tracks. So I went out and I bought it. I kind of went out on a whim, you know, but I just wanted to have fun. I don't regret my purchase at all. So maybe you should get one too and start unleashing that creativity inside of you. Anyway guys, that's all I have for this video in terms of my thoughts. I know it was quick, I know it was very basic. Like I said, I'm not an expert in this area, but I hope this kind of like helps out the, you know, the person who doesn't know what they're getting into. I'm, I'm not trying to talk to the expert here. So if this video did help you out, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and as always, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.